Here we have a problem from the 2018 AMC math contest, and this is number 20 on that contest. A function f is defined recursively by f1 equals f2 equals 1, meaning that both f1 and f2 are equal to 1, and fn equals fn minus 1 minus f of n minus 2 plus n for all n greater than or equal to 3. And it asks us to find f of 2018, but I also want us to find f of 2022 because that's the year that I'm currently recording this in. Okay, first let's go ahead and get a feel for what's going on here. So f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is 1, f of 3 is equal to f of 2 minus f of 1, but that's 0, plus 3 itself, so that's 3 f of 4 is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2, plus 4, which is 6, and so on and so forth. So we could do this all the way up to 2018 and 2022, but there's probably a quicker way to do it using this recursive definition. So let's go ahead and get into that. First, we have f of n equals f of n minus 1 minus f of n minus 2 plus n. But now let's expand this f of n minus 1 term that I am underlining in yellow and expand it out using this recursive definition that I will put this yellow dot next to right here. So let's go ahead and do that. We have f of n equals f of n minus 2 that's by this part right here, minus f of n minus 3, plus n minus 1, that's by this n right here, but now we're working with n minus 1, and then we subtract f of n minus 2 and add n, and that's from these two terms right here. But look, this f of n minus 2 cancels with this negative f of n minus 2 over here, and we are just left with negative f of n minus 3 plus 2n minus 1. But now let's expand this out a little bit. We get negative f of n minus 4 minus f of n minus 5 plus n minus 3 and this is all attached to this negative sign out front. But then we still have this plus 2n minus 1. That's from this, these two terms over here. But now that gives us f of n minus 5 minus f of n minus 4 plus n plus 2. Okay, but now let's do one more expansion, but on this f of n minus 4 term. So we're going to have f of n minus 5 minus f of n minus 5 minus f of n minus 6 plus n minus 4 plus n plus 2. And my little guy over here is getting in the way, so I'm going to go ahead and move him up here. Let me know in the comments what I should name him, by the way, because he's been in all of the videos so far, but I don't have a name for him yet. But now we can simplify this because this f of n minus 5 cancels with this negative f of n minus 5. And then this minus outside multiplies through, so this becomes positive f of n minus 6, this becomes negative n, and this becomes positive 4. But now the negative n and the positive n cancel each other there, so we're just left with f of n minus 6 plus 2. And if we compare the extreme right-hand side of the equation, with the extreme left-hand side of this equation, we find that every single time we decrease this value inside the function by 6, we simply add 6 to it, because this plus 4 plus 2 combine to make a plus 6. So let's get rid of this, and then we'll note that up here, and we'll finish this problem off. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've taken this recursive definition that I've given a yellow dot over there, and we've reduced it to this recursive definition that I'll defined with a purple dot right here. And this one is very, very easy to work with when we're reducing large numbers like 2018 and 2022. So let's do f of 2018 first. 
we want to reduce it by 6, so we'll have f of 2012 plus 6, and that's equal to f of 2006 plus 12. And we can do this over and over again until we get all the way down to 2 plus 2016. But then we know that f of 2 is equal to 1 by our initial condition up here. And so this is equal to 2017. And so if we compare the extreme left-hand side and the extreme right-hand side, we find that f of 2018 is in fact equal to 2017. So that's where this problem stops, but I want to go ahead and apply this for f of 2022. So we get f of 2016 plus 6, f of 2010 plus 6, and we go all the way down until we get to f of 6 plus 2016. But we aren't given an f of 0 here, so we're actually going to need to find what f of 6 is. So that's going to be f of 5 plus f of 4 plus 6. So we'll have f of 5 minus f of 4 plus 6. But then we want to expand out this f of 5. So we'll have f of 4 minus f of 3 plus 5 minus f of 4 plus 6. So here we'll cancel this f of 4 and this f of 4 here because it's negative and we'll have negative f of 3 plus 11. But we know that f of 3 is equal to 3, and so we'll have negative 3 plus 11, and this is going to be 8, which means that f of 2022 is going to be equal to 2016 plus 8, which is 2024. And that's enough for now.